What's up, each of you? For today's video, we're a full Roly Coley Evolution team. This thing consists of Roly Coley, Carco, Colossal, and Colossal G Max. Not the easiest team to run in the world. They all share very, very common type weaknesses, which made this team extremely tough to actually use. Now, if you like to come and see my live theme teams, watch me battle in life, my live Pokemon sweeps, uh, my live Shiny Hunts, or any other gameplay, check me on twitch.tv slash PimNightYT. The link is in the description of the video. Come and follow me there. I know a lot of you have, but not a lot of you haven't. Okay, so today we got uh, two battles, and th once again, this was a very, very difficult team to run when you think about, uh, you know, what types are all these Pokemon up. So this was a battle against Felicia, and we got a Clefable lead here. Clefable is a very bulky Pokemon, right? So I was wondering if I could even do anything or little damage of Rolly Coly at all. Now, I actually have done a Rolly Coly sweep before, but... I don't actually know. I've done a G-Max Colossal as well, so the other ones I haven't done. So there's quite a few I've got to cover there too. So we got a physical set, a bulky physical set here. There was no point running any speed EVs. This entire line is very slow. Speaking of slow, we got the Icy Wind slowing me down here. I've got the Focus Sash as the item here. We got Explosion. We got Stone Edge, Rapid Spin. If I came like come across any Sticky Web users or any Stealth Rock users, and of course I can set my own Stealth Rock up. Uh, regardless of all that, Riley Coley is going to go down to a Moonblast from Clefable. Really nothing I could have done there, right? Um, I, was, I was facing a very bulky Pokemon. Next Pokemon is Colossal, and I really had to run the move Tarshot because it's very signature to this Pokemon, right? So when you use the move Tarshot, right, you actually make them vulnerable to the Fire-type moves. So they're now going to be weak to Fire uh, moves, which is really, really cool. I did something uh, like this in, I think it was a 32 or 32 times weakness or 64 times weakness team. I actually made a Pokemon uh, very, very weak to Fire moves, and this is one of the moves that I did. So now, as you can see, Flare Blitz is going to be super effective against Clefable, Hacker Exposed, and I'm going to go for a, uh, a physical set here. So we, on this one, I've got max health and max attack. Flare Blitz was my main move I could use, and Tar Shot to make them obviously weak to fire. So Clefable is not going to be living that one, and Destroyable is going to get destroyed. So I finally took out Clefable down. Now, it doesn't end there, people. I'm going to take some uh, recoil damage, and the next Pokemon is Trollable, which is a Clefable as well. We've got a full Clefable team, and they've all got, like, little green ears. So now this one's called Trollable, right? Because, I, like, as soon as it came out, I knew they would have Metro, and it's actually going to miss, which is uh, kind of good. So go for the Tar Shot on Trollable, right? And now Trollable is actually weak to uh, Flare Blitz. So now I can go for Flare Blitz the next turn. But it depends on what move it's going to use next run. So now it's going to be going for a Leech Seed with a Metro. And it is actually going to be allowed to land that on my Colossal. Now, if I go for the Flare Blitz this turn and it takes it out, my recoil damage on Colossal is definitely going to take that. Clefable's got a lot of health. And I really didn't have a lot of health remaining from the last encounter uh, from that Clefable run. So Colossal is going to take itself out with recoil. But we did take two Clefable out. So I was very, very happy about that. So... The next Pokemon is Sustainable. Now, since it was named that, I started to think, okay, this is probably going to be a stalling bulky set, right? Speaking of uh, stolly bulky sets, I've got Carco here as well. And this thing is a little Everlight uh, unit here. So we got Max Health and Max Special Defense. I've got Everlight as the item. And I've also got Iron Defense, Sleep Talk, and Rest, and Fire Spin too. So uh, actually, sorry, I don't have Sleep Talk on this one. I've actually got just Rest because I want a will o -Wisp so I can burn them. So will o -Wisp damage and Fire Spin. But you could run Sleep Talk on this one if you wanted to. You'd probably have to, uh, you might have to drop like Iron Defense and just make it a special wall. Or you could definitely make it a physical ro like wall, right? So we got a, uh, a will o -Wisp here. I was wondering if it was actually going to be Magic Guard or not because this will o -Wisp could be like completely useless. And uh, it does get burnt and it does get hurt by the burns. So it's like, all right. It's most probably got unaware as the ability. I don't think it's got Q-Jump. I'm definitely thinking, you know, it's going to unaware. Unfortunately for me, this Clefable is going to have rest, so it's going to be able to rest off all the damage. I'm like, man, what am I going to be able to do to this thing? So straight away, I seen this thing. It was using uh, Cosmic Power, right? And I'm thinking, okay, it's going to have Stored Power. It's going to become, like, so, so bulky, and there's no way I'm going to be able to take it out, right? So the uh, Clefable is going to be fast, a sleepier, and of course it's got Sleep Talk. I was like, okay, what move is it going to use? Let's see its attacking move, and it's going to get another Cosmic Power. So Cosmic Power is kind of bad, because once this thing, even after like one or two, it's going to be very, very difficult to one-shot this. I'm going to need to probably bust through the crit. And at this stage, my only offense is Fire Spin, right? 
And I don't really want to swap out to my last Pokemon that can do any damage in case this thing, like, fires off, uh, you know, um, just any attacking move would be really, really bad. So uh, I'm thinking Stored Power, right? That's usually why you run, uh, you know, Cosmic Power on Clefable. So Clefable is going to get yet another Cosmic Power, boosting its defenses even more. What I was thinking, right, is I want to get this thing while it's asleep. So maybe I can force the Clefable to go asleep again and then, you know, I, I, I just swap out. Now, instead of using that, it's going to have Draining Kiss. It's like, okay, Draining Kiss. That's not going to do anything to me at all, right? Because I resist that. Now I'm thinking I've actually got more offense than this Clefable, right? I've also got access to Rest, too. Um, that has access to Rest, too. But I feel like I could definitely outstall this Clefable if I really, really had to. Like, look at the damage that it's doing. It'll definitely run out of Draining Kisses before I... Long, long before I run out of, like, Fire Spins or will o wisp and that sort of thing, right? So I'm thinking, um, I've definitely got the advantage here, even though I'm not doing like heaps and heaps of moves. Plus, also with a Fire Spin and will o -Wisp, I'm actually, eventually the Clefable is going to have to use up a Rest again. So I felt like there would be hardly any, like, before I'd even go down, I feel like the Clefable would not even, like, force me to use one single Rest. So what I'm going to do here is I have to pressure the Clefable uh, into using Rest again and trying to uh, win this store Wall here. Because I was doing a lot more damage, which is kind of funny when it used, like, I don't know, multiple Cosmic Powers. Now, I'm going to do a swap here. I don't really want to get into a massive store wall because, as you people know, we've only got 20 minutes on the clock. So, I want to get this battle going right. I've got to do some damage to this Clefable. Now, Clefable is going to go for its attacking move, which is Draining Kiss. And it's really going to do too much to my Colossal at all. Now, this Colossal was a bulky set. And all of them had Steam Engine, by the way, if I, if I didn't mention that before. Now, this is a Weakness Policy Steam Engine set. I was actually kind of hoping to come across a Water-type Pokemon. Um, I know that's really bad for this team, but I could send this in and get my Steam Engine, which will give me a plus six in speed and the Weakness Policy, and then I could, you know, obviously try and sweep from them. This was a special set, so we had Angel Power as Flamethrower as my main attacking moves, and, you know, you could offer some other things for sort of, like, coverage, right? Now, I don't know about Colossal's G-Max. I've, I've, I've sort of been... I, I don't I absolutely love it, but I don't really, I don't hate it. It's sort of like... I'm sort of like on the fence about it. So this is a, it basically, it's just a big old furnace oven, right? So uh, it's going to do no damage with the Draining Kiss, but it is going to give it a fair bit back there, and our burn is going to take a little bit out of the way. So I thought I'd go for the G-Max Volcalyph. This will do some good damage at the end of the turn, too, since I don't have access to Fire Spin anymore. So we got some big old rocks on the field. That's going to do some further damage to the Clefable and really try and press it to go to sleep. I know that both these Pokemon could definitely outstall this Clefable. And, you know, they're either going to keep stalling or they're just going to do as much damage as possible and swap in the next Pokemon. As you can see, uh, this is a, Max Flare is a little bit more powerful now. I've got the rocks up. I thought, let's go for Max Flare, get that sun on the field and try and attack this Clefable as much as I can. You know, why I've got the G-Max going too. Plus, I might be able to get some Ancient Power Boost if it keeps going for rest. And there's actually, you know, there actually be a decent chance I can get, like, one or two up. Then again, it's not going to do too much this if it is unaware, which I'm assuming it is, right? I'm more thinking about the, uh, you know, the Pokemon afterwards. So, Sustainable is finally in the red here. Is it going to use rest or is it just going to attack me? I wasn't really sure. Um, either way, I was definitely ready to out PP Solid. Like, I had so much uh, more PP in attacking moves than it had. So, it's going to be going for a Draining Kiss here, which is fine. I didn't really want to have, a, like, a, an hour stall wall. I mean, the game would even go for an hour. And uh, now I'm going to go for a Max Flare and finish it off. So, there's one more Clefable left. But uh, I was actually a little bit worried because I was wondering if it was going to be like something that could count on my last two Pokemon. So we had the Carcoal left still, and the next one is called Cleavable. I, I don't even, I'm not sure. Where, where's this Cleaver? Anyway, so I'm out of Dynamax now, or G-Max now, and they have not used their Dynamax either. So I'm going to have to be facing a Dynamax called Fable. What set it is, I've got no idea at all. So we got Endure, Ancient Power, Flamethrower, and Solar Beam. I thought, okay, well, Flamethrower will be good. I might be able to get a burn here, and that's my chance of doing the most damage too. I could play around with going for an Ancient Power, but I thought the chance of me really getting that, plus it gets a Dynamax Pokemon, it could be a bad idea trying to go for, like, uh, RNG sort of base moves. Like, even... Maybe I might even need, like, two Ancient Powers just to get, like, outspeed this thing. Even though Clefable's not fast, right? Uh, Colossal is very, very slow. So we got one big Clefable, and it's going to be going for a Max Knuckle. And I was like, oh, no. I mean, this is good, but it's bad at the same time because it did a lot of damage. The next one will take me out. However, it's going to activate my Weakness Policy with the Flamethrower 2 in the sun. Now, since it's a Dynamax Pokemon, it's going to have a lot of health. So if it, if it wasn't a Clefable that wasn't Dynamax, right... 
that would have done a lot of damage. Like, it would have basically nearly taken it out. So that's unfortunate. All I've got left now is to go for Flamethrower. I know that Cafable can outspeed me. Now I'm thinking, okay, it's got two more turns of Dynamax, right? I really don't want to have it, like, burst the, my core, like my Carcoal against this Dynamax Pokemon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Endure, right? To stall out the Dynamax another turn. So Cafable's going to go for yet another Max Knuckle. The only bad thing about this was it is going to boost its attack, like, another turn. But I really had no choice here. Like, I had to sort of, like, try and stall this thing out. I was thinking maybe I could get Iron Defenses up with my Carcoal and, you know, then take it out with a Fire Spin or will o Wisp it. You know, that could work really, really nicely if it was running a physical set, which I was, you know, definitely 100% uh, sure it was. So now we're going to max Airstream here. It's going to try and outspeed me. Uh, it's not going to take much to outspeed my Carco or my Colossal either. So down goes my uh, G-Max Colossal. Well, my, my Colossal is no longer a G-Max run. Right? Uh, with our Colossal's design, I do like that little... It's sort of like a furnace on the back of it. That's like really, really cool. I've always liked that. But I really feel like out of Gen 8, right? I'm going to be honest, right? I'm not saying I don't like these Pokemon either. I just feel that Colossal and Dreadnought are the Pokemon that are probably the least liked in Gen 8. Like, out of the Gen 8 Pokemon, like, forgotten and least, like, least used and least liked. Do you think I'm wrong about that? I'm not sure. Just, just discuss in the comment section if you like. That's how I feel anyway, out of all the Pokemon. And once again, I'm not saying I don't like these Pokemon because they're, they're cool, but I just... I just think, I just really feel that way. So anyway, we've got this Clefable. It does so much damage there with the Drain Punch. And I do manage to burn it, but unfortunately, Carcoal is not going to be outspeeding um, a blade of grass. And I'm going to get one shot to buy the uh, Drain Punch after that. And that, my friends, is the first battle. It was a, a Carcoal. Well, it was a Roly Collie, a Carcoal, and all its friends against a team of Clefable. I tried my best. It was very, very close there then. Unfortunately, once this team faced a super effective move, they were all slow. So it was very, very difficult for me to get wins when they were so slow. I pretty much needed my Steam Engine to activate it. That's why it made this scene uh, so difficult to use. Okay, so the second battle here we got is against uh, Mr. Gulsword. And he's got a Ghastly Lead. It's like, okay, Ghastly. This could be good. Finally, a Pokemon my Rolly Collie can actually do some decent damage. Now, I can't go Explosion, right? That will be a bad idea. And I can't go Rapid Spin. I could go Stealth Drop. I was like, nah, let's go for the Stone Edge, right? So, Gus is going to go for a Shadow Ball there. And I knew Shadow Ball would do a lot of damage. I wasn't sure if it would take me down to my Sash. Um, but it critted me. So, like, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to live on one health there. Merch is available, right? So, uh, we're going to go for the Stone Edge. And Stone Edge is going to miss. Oh, man, come on. So, my Rolling Collie is going to get unlucky there. If I'd, I'd have to probably say that Ghastly probably does have a Sash itself. So, I possibly would have just been taking Garcy down to a sash. Unfortunately, uh, Rolly Collie did not get a sniff of a hit in there, and it's going to be going down. So Rolly Collie got wrecked in both battles. If you do like Rolly Collie and you do want to see some real Rolly Collie action, uh, make sure you type in YouTube uh, Pip Mike Rolly. Uh, Rolly Collie Sweet Pip Mike, if you like your uh, Rolly Collie line, right? So I did a full sweep on that. I actually did it for Christmas, for, for the coal, you know? Uh, man, Christmas is coming up again. Now, I did that nearly a year ago. What the... This year, I'm going to be serious, right? This year has gone so fast, it's incredible, right? So swapping in my Carcoal, this is my bulky Special Defense Everlight set, and we're going to go for a Fire Spin there. It doesn't do loads and loads of damage, but after that uh, after that um, end of turn sort of fire there, it's definitely going to go down pretty quickly. So I've got Iron Defense. I thought, okay, let's boost up my defense with Iron Defense. This uh, Garcy may have uh, Destiny Bond too, so I really don't want to take it out. And I, I kind of want to like make sure... It just takes itself out with Fire Spin, right? So I thought this would be a great opportunity to set up my Iron Defenses and make this a super, super tanky set. Uh, while uh, the Fire Spin is actually going to be doing damage to, and the Ghastly cannot swap out. I've got it trapped in, so it's kind of perfect. Now, the other move I could use is will o wisp here. Eventually, that could take itself out. I'm thinking, uh, I want to get the Iron Defenses up first, and then I can, take the, I can deal with this Ghastly. Now, the only thing I was worried about was a Special Defense drop that could be kind of bad. Um, because I've got no way to boost my special defense, pretty much. I'm just relying on max health and max special defense. Uh, the, uh, I'm just thinking the nature. I gave this one was sassy. So I didn't really need any speed in this one at all, right? It's a very slow Pokemon. This is bulky, bulky slow. Now, I can opt to go for a rest here. Or I could go for another attack move. Like, let's go for rest, get all my health back. And then I can take this Ghastly out. Then I'm going to be very bulky for the next couple of Pokemon. Once again, this was a 4v4 too. So the first battle was a 4v4. And this one was a 4v4 too. I actually whacked my microphone. hope that didn't make any noise. So, uh, Kako is going to become uh, very, very healthy and go back to sleep, which is nice. I get so much sleep, people. I get so much sleep myself. So, uh, Lavender Town is... A, actually, Lavender Town is a good name for a Ghastly too. It's going to go for a Shadow Ball. It's like, all I'm going to do is take this out one more hit. And I, I'm home, right? I can go for the Fire Spin. 
and take the, uh, you know, the ghastly out. So it's got one more try at uh, doing some damage to me, and it's really not doing much damage at all. I thought I might try and pull a Destiny Bond here, but it's going to be going for a Shadow Ball. I'm not sure at this stage what sort of item it was running. I either think it was Choice or it had, like, Focus Sash. So, unfortunately for me, on the very last turn, it's going to get a Special Defense drop. So, Karkol's Special Defense is not going to be as high as I would have liked that. Plus, the Fire Spin runs out. I'm like, man, that was such bad timing for both those things to happen, right? Uh, nothing I could have done. So, go for, once again for the Sleep Talk. Gus is going to be going for a Shadow Ball. Now, it's going to be doing more damage than it did last time, as you can see there. I need to actually take this thing out. It's going to do some good damage. If it gets another one, it's going to be even worse. So, Garcy is finally going to go down there. And we've still got three Pokemon to go. So, you may have guessed they are running an evolution team. And it's a Ghastly evolution team. And uh, Farts uh, Russ is going to come out here, which is <laughs> a very good nickname. I like that one. It's going to go for a Mega Drain. Mega Drain is not going to take me out. That was even a crit. It did nothing. I was kind of surprised there. I thought... There's no way I'm going to live like a Haunter hit. I'll just go for Fire Spin. Now Haunter's going to go for another Mega Drain. Um, at this stage, I thought I could go for a Rest, but I thought, nah. What I want to do is I want to swap in my next Pokemon and set up on this uh, Haunter, right? Uh, when the Gengars come out, that's not going to be really the time to set up. So uh, we got that uh, Burn on the Haunter now. I can opt to go for a Fire Spin or a Rest. I'm just going to go for damage on this thing. I'm sort of curious if it's got Destiny Bond too. That was another thing I wanted to see. So our Haunter is going to go for a Mega Drain. And I'm going to go down here. It's like, okay, that's fine. I've got Colossals left. I've got two Colossals and a Haunter that, uh, you know, doesn't have a Sash. If it did have one, it could have Everlight though. That's the only thing I was kind of thinking about. So I'm like, okay, if it does have Everlight, it, it's a possibility that it could live this. So maybe I should go for the Tar Shot and then go for Flare Blitz. When I, when I was using uh, this Colossal too, I tried to use Tar Shot as... You know, as, as much as I could humanly possible, right? Now I get why this Haunter is called Farts R Us. It's got smog. Uh, that's why it's called Farts R Us. Everything is coming together now, people. Um, Farts R Us, Haunter, Smog. Uh, only on Pepper Nights channel. You'll see these amazing moves and nicknames and sets. So, um, we, we've got Mega Drain and Smog. Like, what other moves does this Pokemon have? I don't know what they are. Uh, maybe they're other mean moves, or maybe these are the only moves they can have. Now, obviously, I'm thinking since they're running an evolution team, they're going to have uh, a G-Max Gengar, right? So, Haunter's definitely not going to, uh, you know, Dynamax it. So, go for the Flare Blitz, and Farts R Us is going to go poof and out of this battle. And uh, we got two more Pokemon left, right? We've got a Colossal. Wait, we've got my Colossal, the G-Max Colossal, a Gengar, and I'm assuming a G-Max Gengar at this point. So Black Shadow's going to come in here. I'm wondering what sort of set it's going to be running. I'm thinking maybe, we haven't seen a physical set yet, so I'm thinking uh, it might be a physical one. I could go for a Tar Shot, or I could just go for damage on Flare Blitz. I feel like Flare Blitz will still do lots of damage to Gengar. Gengar is going to have Drain Punch, and I really don't want to get swept by Drain Punch again. So I'm going to be going for... Um, the Flare Blitz here. Yeah. Now, interesting enough, I did I did actually battle a team at the start and they had a Clefable and they used Belly Drum and just used Drain Punch four times and knocked my whole team out. So, yeah, it, really any... And I had another team up first. It was like a Water-type moves. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my uh, Steam Engine up. So, I've had some really bad experiences with this team. It's been very, very mean. So, uh, Gengar is going to take my Colossal out with the Drain Punch and it's going to get some health back too. My last Pokemon is my own Colossal. So, I thought, okay, if Gengar hits me with a Drain Punch, right, that will activate my weakness policy, which will be really, really good. Then I'll do some, like, fire damage, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I've got Ancient Power on this, I thought, well, I could go for Ancient Power and get a boost and a weakness policy. That'd be really cool. So let's go for that. I was kind of worried at a Destiny Bond. Instead of attacking me with a super effective move, it's going to go for Shadow Claw. I'm like, no. I really needed that damage, and it's going to creep me as well. Not that it does, like, amazing amounts of damage. But uh, I was really hoping for an Ancient Power boost since I didn't get the Weakness Posse. Uh, either of those things didn't happen, so I was kind of counting on one of those things happening. Last Pokemon is the Gengar. It's called Mega Gengar. And, uh, man, I, I really do miss uh, Megas. I've got to say this. Like, I roasted Megas the first time when they came out. And I wasn't a huge, huge fan of them, but I still feel like they have their spot in the in the game, right? Because they're different Pokemon, they've got different stats and different abilities. So I do miss them, and I would love to see them come back, right? So the last Pokemon we got is the G-Max Gengar. Now, I decided to go for G-Max Colossal this turn, too. Um, I was definitely thinking I, I've got... You know, i probably got one or two turns to actually uh, take this Gengar out because it's going to be... I don't even know what sort of set it is, but it's going to be something fairly offensive, I'm assuming, right? So uh, we've got a double a double G-spot here. I've got my Colossal, and we've got the Gengar here. So I think it, if I go for the G-Max um, Volklip, right, 
I'll get some damage with those uh, those magma rocks. And then I could go for Max Guard and do further damage. And then I could possibly attack it again. That was what I was thinking like I could do. Or I could go for Max Flare. But I thought I'm only going to get so much damage out of that. I could get like, you know, three turns of damage from that. Not that it's going to be a lot with the rocks. But I thought that could be a good idea, right? So we got the Giga Gopher and She-Max Terry. I can live another one of those, which is really fun. And I can go for two attacks and probably take this thing out, you know? So I go for that G-Max Volkley Fair, basically dropping a big old... How does that even land on Gengar? Like, Gengar's a ghost, right? So getting some Magma Rocks on the field, and it's going to do some nice damage, and also do some damage at the end of the turn, too. So essentially, I can dish out a little bit more damage than this Mega Gengar, and I'm bulkier than the Mega Gengar, too. So uh, when I say Mega Gengar, I mean G-Max Gengar. I'm just referring to the nickname, right? So I thought for a while, I could go for G-Max Volkley. Or I could go for a Max Guard, then G-Max Volcliff, right? Now, I decided to go for the uh, Max Guard this turn, and they're going to go for Max Darkness this time. Uh, so that's going to hit my Protect. Now I'm like, are they going to Protect this turn, or are they going to try and attack me? So once we both get out of G-Max, you know, we're, I'm not going to be able to do as much. Or the Gengar's probably not going to be able to do as much damage either, unless it has something super effective, right? So Gengar's going to go for a Max Guard, and my Volcliff is going to hit the Gengar. So now we're both out of our G-Max. I'll be honest, I didn't think one of us would actually survive in a G-Max form. I thought one of us would actually take each other, you know, out within those three turns. So that didn't happen. So I was like, okay, well, my only move here is to go for Flamethrower. I've got Ancient Power, but I believe that uh, Flamethrower will be enough to uh, definitely take out the Gengar. It depends what Gengar had, though, because we've seen a Ghost-type move. Uh, we've seen a Dark-type move. I haven't seen any other, like, moves apart from that. And then it pulls out the Focus Mist right at the end. Oh, come on. And now goes my Colossal. I tried, people, a very, very hard battle uh, and team to use. Some great battles. Really hope you enjoy this one. I shall catch you tomorrow for another video. All right, people. Peace out.